not can infer oral contract, let's say from letters, memos, emails, the actions of the Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adeze Reginald Paul and if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and clicking every video that comes up on this channel. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate you and I celebrate you all. Thank you. So guys, in today's video, we'll be talking about oral contract. I know that in the last video, I promised that we'll be talking about oral and written contract in this video. But having put together all the elements and contents of this video, I realized that there's no way we're talking about the written contract in this video. <laughs> so guys, we'll just be talking about oral contract in this video. And in the next video, we'll be talking about written contract. Just put it out there, this video is an offshoot of our previous video. So I strongly recommend that you take a look at the previous video to fully appreciate what we'll be doing in this video. I will also put the link of the previous video in the description box so that you can look at that video and really understand what we're doing here. So guys, having said that, let's move right into this video. It's what's an oral contract. An oral contract is a contract that is outlined by spoken communication. It is not reduced into writing. It is done by way of mouth solely. Usually, an oral contract is legally binding, although it is difficult to prove in the court of law. And whether an oral contract can be enforced or not will usually depend on the subject matter of the contract and sometimes the jurisdiction wherein the oral contract was made. In Nigeria, for instance, an oral contract is enforceable depending on the subject matter of the contract. For instance, for a contract for sale of land, an oral contract will not work and it will not be enforceable. So for that, it has to be in writing. Be enforceable. What can I use an oral contract? It is recommended that an oral contract be used for simple, low-end, straightforward transaction. Let's take for instance, you want somebody to mow your lawn for you. You can actually just, you know, call a gardener, oh, mow my lawn for you, and I'll give you 3,000 naira. The person does the job, and you pay them their money, and that's it. That's the end of that contract. Very simple, very straightforward, very easy to understand. Or you take your clothes to the laundry. That kind of contract is very simple and straightforward and may not necessarily require a lot of documentation and all that in form of a contract. Or trade by barter. I give you my freezer, you give me your washing machine. Those kind of contracts, they do not necessarily require to be a writing because they are very straight, simple, straightforward, not complex and easy to understand. Guys, basically, an oral contract is used for simple agreement. The simpler the agreement, the less likely the parties are to go to court and the less um, necessary it is for the contract to be in writing. Now, what are the advantages and the disadvantages of an oral contract? The first advantage is that it is very simple. It is straightforward. It is direct. It doesn't need too much. <laughs> It's something that you can enter into within five minutes, execute it within five to ten minutes, and everybody goes their separate way. You do not need too much for an oral contract. The second advantage is that it is inexpensive. For this kind of contract, you may not need to retain the service of a lawyer to draft a contract for you. It's something that you can just do by yourself, common sense, and everybody understands what's happening, and that's it. You have your agreement. The third advantage is that although it is simple, it is direct, it is inexpensive, you don't have to spend money for it, you still have the opportunity to enforce it in a court of law if the need arises. So it is enforceable in law. What are the disadvantages of an oral contract? The first disadvantage is that it's very difficult to prove, very difficult because it is not in a definite form. And because of that, it's usually difficult for the court to determine if there was actually an oral contract or not. Although the court, from the actions of the parties and their conduct, can infer oral contract, let's say from letters, memos, emails, the actions of the parties, their reactions, and all that, the court can actually infer that there was an oral contract. But outside that, there's really nothing for the court to lay its hands on and interpret 
you know as a contract and that would be a bit challenging for the parties to prove their position under the contract the second disadvantage is that it's likely it's more likely to lead to confusion error you know mistake and all of that one party is saying one thing the other party is understanding that thing so there's a misunderstanding so it's more likely to lead to those kind of confusions between the party and this will also lead to quarrels and going to court and litigations and a misunderstanding and all of that and you just want to save yourself from all of that trouble yes so number three disadvantage is that it is not very efficient where they are more than two persons to the contract imagine having five people going into a contract and you want to do it by way of mouth it may not be very efficient because the more the parties to the contract the more complexities and the need for it to be in writing the fourth disadvantage is that it cannot be used for complex transactions i mean if it's uh, if, if you're going to employ a domestic staff in the house you know you can make do with an oral contract but when it starts to get into high-end transaction contract for sale of land you know like things that are required to be by a deed it has to be in writing you cannot make do with an oral contract so guys basically an oral contract is legally binding although it is difficult to enforce it's it's also recommended personally i recommend that you put your contract in writing you may not even need to get a lawyer. You can even just use it, write it you know, on a piece of paper. Let it be in writing. You can scribble it down. Let everybody sign. Everybody understands it. Everybody has their own copy to the contract. Let's not say you're just in a place where you don't really have access to a lawyer. Or maybe you don't even have the money to spend. You know, you can actually just use your biro and paper. Write it. Let everybody agree on what they want to be in the contract. Put it in writing in simple English that is understandable and let everybody sign. You, you save yourself from a lot of trouble of, oh, I did it, oh, I said this, I didn't say this, I meant this, I didn't mean that, and all of that. It's actually very it's simpler, it's better, and I highly recommend a written contract. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video i hope i'm able to help you understand what an oral contract is and when you can use an oral contract in our next video we'll be looking at a written contract when you can use a written contract the advantages and the disadvantages of a written contract so guys until then see you in my next video bye